All right, Master Shredder, talk to the people, man. Let them know what's getting ready to go down. What's good? You already know. That's good money. Master Shredder, train different, gain different. Today, we're going to do the top three body weight exercises for your back. And I'm going to just use the dip bar. And then I'm going to throw in like a little bonus one. And yeah, I'm basically going to show y'all how I built my back and the science behind it. It's the science behind it. It ain't just some simple shit, man. All right? So, of course, like, you know, people say, oh, only pull-ups, but the, the inverted rows is very key, you know what I'm saying? Because you're hitting the, the back muscles. I can show you, better not to tell you. So, if you want to hit the mid-back muscles, we usually do inverted rows and come to, like, the chest. So, when you're hitting the chest, it's more hitting the top, top of your back, like the serratus and stuff still hitting a lot of the lats and stuff but if you want to hit like more of the lower and mid lats keep it close i like to keep it close and then just move up a little bit so you pull in a little bit more to your stomach and you want to keep tension on you don't want to go lock out all the way so if you want to build you want to keep tension on that doesn't mean do chicken wings that means just keep tension on so you could come like right here Control it and then explode. All right, Shred, let me get another angle. So, and, um, you were just saying something about the uh, the feet yeah. in the hands. Let me get a the look at how you had hands. your feet there in your hands. All right, so on this one. Let me get on this side. All right. Man. So, like I said, usually when we do inverted pull up, we pull to like right here. So, to hit the really, to hit that like in the back. And get that squeeze. So what you mean, in the back? Yeah, we do want to put the hands a little bit closer. Put the hands a little closer, keep the chest up, and then pull to like, right about to our stomach. Keep tension on, keep the tension on. Time so under tension to keep the building. Okay, how about the feet? Your feet supposed to be? Yeah, the feet you want them to be straight. Heels on the floor like that or? Yeah, feet? heels on the floor just like this. Heels on the floor. Yeah, keeping your core activated. Okay. Keeping the squeeze on your lower back. That right there, the feet being straight like that. Yeah. I'm keeping, you see the, the squeeze on my lower back? That. Every time I go up, you see a, like the squeeze on my lower mm -hmm. back? Okay, yeah. Yeah, so that's how we get in the lower back, mid back, and the lats with the inverted pulls right there. So now I'm gonna show you how you can even hit the back on the, using push-ups. Think push-ups is just chest and um, triceps, triceps and, and shoulders. shoulders. Mm -hmm. But it's a lot of back once you really get in deep into them like these, I like to call deep dish push-ups. I call deep dish push-ups, anytime I do push-ups on any type of parallel bar, I prefer the parallel bar more than the straight bar. Okay. You understand? Elevated, you wanna say, you say yeah, elevated. 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 Yeah, elevated, yeah, elevated, yeah. These elevated, yeah. don't really have the elevation right now, but that I like, like I like going on a decline and hitting these, decline. like decline with my feet up. Oh, okay. Yeah, my feet up and yeah. like my body going down. So it's like, okay. yeah, that's really how I build a lot of my back. So we can put our feet up. So the deep dish. Keeping it locked. See what's going on. Then not going all the way up. We're keeping tension. So like right here. It's the traps as well. That mid traps and that. Call those deep dish push ups. Because it's getting a, 
the upper back track, that area there. It's gonna help you with your pull-ups because on your pull-ups, you wanna open your chest. So the deep dish push-ups is good. Okay. I, I prefer these on the parallel more than on the straight bar. So what about some people will say that when you go deep dish like that, it's to open up the chest more. It's gonna open up the chest more, not really well, the back. What do you say to that? I would say, first of all, to people talking bullshit and talking and telling, saying anything, I want to. I want want to see they work first. Yeah. To okay. even give a fuck about what they say. <laughs> yeah. Like so, if you talking okay. and you ain't got nothing, yeah. and it's just like a blue or a green and just that letter J for the screen, and yeah. you ain't got nothing, you should stop. Right. Because I don't give a fuck. So if anybody else does who is working out, they shouldn't neither. Right. right yeah. Right. If you don't see they work, question they work, and okay. then when they start, like. What Shredder saying listen. is, if you ain't putting in no work yeah, yeah, on your yeah. YouTube channels showing something yeah. different, yeah, exactly. You know, keep your yeah, opinion, yeah. you know. Yeah, show me better. Let me see your. Show me. Process. Don't just write it in the. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I'm, I'm letting you know this is even before that's good money. And that's the Instagram. This is what I. This is, this is how I got here from doing this and continuing to do this. So let me, what have you been doing and continuing to do? Nothing. Right. Turn on, let, let them turn around again, man. Show them, show them the game. Let the games do the talking, The games y talk. Let the the games, games speak. Talk. You see what's going on. Okay. Yeah, the what games we got speak. next, Shredder? Hold on. What we got next? Right now, we got the Bulldog push-ups. These hit the chest good, too. I mean, not Bulldog push-ups. Bulldog dips. Correction. Okay. So dips help my back grow a lot, too. My upper back traps. And uh, like, you know, scapula, all of those things. So hitting these, I'm getting a lot of that in the part too as well. The rhomboids. Keeping attention on, like I said, going deep in, I'm still keeping attention on. Okay, now we see back activation, of course, but to yeah. build your back too, or to activate the muscles, or both? You gotta activate them to build them. Okay. Yeah. If you're not building, then you're not really activating nothing. You just you gotta activate with. the build. That's what. You yeah, said. that's very okay. basics. Like, okay. if you ain't, if it ain't activated, ain't no way it's gonna build. Okay. So that's the point of it: Act stimulation, activation, and release. Okay. So. Explain. Explain also that the hand, the how you. Put the yeah, hand the hand position. Bring it up. The hand position as well turned in. It's gonna do what? Not only is it helping my wrist build my wrist, it's not about wrist, it's not about my triceps, we're hitting all of that too, shoulders, but on my back, it's activating my scapula a little bit different when I got it turned in like that. If you look at my scapula, that's like my upper back. Okay. You see my scapula and rhomboids. The turning in of my hands is why you see the middle of my back really starting to activate like that okay. because of that turning in and then adding resistance and movement to it. Yeah. So what about the the standard dip? Is standard that, dips. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. Let's see the activation. Yeah. See if it's any different yeah, from the standard dip. All right. Let's see if it's any let's different. See standard dip. Still getting back in here too. Like I said, dips is another thing that helped me build my back too. As you can see by just holding, just holding my upper back, shoulders, chest, triceps. But my upper back is an instrumental part in this and traps and rhomboids. That's even building your neck you can feel those dips you feel the standard dips even more in your neck and that's in the back of your neck okay. not the front key word back okay okay <laughs> so that's your that's oh that's top three there you got the bonus one you got uh, some more we got to explain here no nah, go i don't got bonus. nothing more the gains speak man okay once you look and and shut up and 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 listen You'll, you'll go far with this calisthenics thing.
But once you're naive and you're a skeptic and you're a non-believer and you don't have patience, and you don't have the will, you're gonna question and be a hater. Okay. All right, so what we got now? So these pike push-ups, diamonds is good for your back too. I'm gonna do two bonus ones. Two Another push-up. Another push-up ones, like, yeah, uh, yeah. push-ups is good for your back too. Yeah. Doing a push up for us? Um, yeah. Get, get more light over there. All right, let's, let's get more light. On the green, on the green, yeah. Right there, and look where the light is. All right. You're facing me, face me, I'm sorry. Facing All right. Me. So I was gonna do it on the, um, I wanted to do decline. Oh, okay, go ahead, go ahead, you do this too. Yeah. Oh, I got you, I got you, I got you. Yeah, okay, so. okay, okay. Oh, decline diamonds, I got yeah, you. Yeah, decline okay. diamonds, and then the pike, so we can oh, do Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I so got you. So we could you. do a decline. You see? Activation in the back. Two spots for those. And then a bike hitting the traps again. Rhomboids. Scapula. A lot of scapula Do those two again, Shredder, on the other side. All One right. more time, give them that bonus. Especially on, on side, the pikes. On side. Yeah. So on the, on the decline, we hit the upper chest and the upper back as well. It's like yin and yang, front to back. That's how the body works, trust me. Diamonds, everything that activates here. And face. Diamond style. Okay. Getting a lot of rhomboids to, to really affect the traps you have to activate the rhomboids Rhomboid. as well too. rhomboids is one of the small small muscles yeah one of them small though dog that one those two in between there yeah yep, they see them all right master shredder talk to the people man let them know what they just witnessed man you just witnessed three of the best body weight exercises to build your back if you do those consistently, you're gonna see a difference in your back and your front as well because the science behind it is I was always training for just, you know, my, my chest and like just the front. I never looked at my back until I, I never realized how much gains my back was getting. And I never said, I'm doing this workout to work on my back until I really looked back and really observed the workouts that I was doing and then I looked at my back and then you put one and one together and then I look at the videos and really study them and understand that the body is like front to back man like yin and yang okay so pull-ups you don't necessarily need pull-ups pull-ups is good but there's other things yeah, you can do pull-ups is great but you can do those those is, those is elite add these into your workout too as well yeah right? yeah, add those yeah. Into it. all right good just just rolls and like you know bar like in a gym like with weights and you know that like lap pull downs if you think that's just it and pull-ups yeah. that's not just it okay all right good looking out shredder links to shredder's youtube page will be in the description box y'all want meal plans consultations training hit them up in the gmail links will be in the description box one chance in a million at gmail.com good looking out shredder more to right. come mosquitoes coming out. yeah i know so i know <laughs> <laughs>